So in this next video, I'm going to do some patching of holes, and I'm going to show you the correct way to do that. Um, next phase would normally be fairing compound, but I want to get all these holes patched in because we want to get that done right before we put fairing compound over them. Let me give you an example of what some of these really badly uh, patched holes look like. You can see two right here. This one was drilled straight in and a plug was put in it. The plug is loose. When I had the sand around here, you could see it vibrating and floating around. So I'm going to drill that out. Um, this one was just kind of glopped in there and uh, do the same thing. But I'm going to go around the boat and uh, plug up all the holes that need plugging. And um, let me show you a short little segment here as to what I mean by a correct plug. And after that, I'll go ahead and get the plugs uh, going. And, uh, so you've got a hole in your fiberglass. Let's look and see how this works and what the best way to patch that is. Um, you've got a hole. Here we go. Here's a hole. And uh, you patch it in with just straight through. And what ends up happening is vibrations, whatnot, um, expansion, contraction, that little plug will eventually move in or out. And of course that's not what you want when you patch that hole. So, what I do is I take a drill bit and move it around so that I end up with cambered edges, if you will. All right, let's get rid of this drill bit and draw this in real quick, show you what this looks like. Now, what this does is that when you when you when you patch that, that patch is locked in there mechanically. Now, that's just, in my opinion, not enough because the next step is I grind the edge down and I lay in a couple of layers of fiberglass over that. What does that do? That ensures that you have a really strong mechanical and chemical bond, if you will. That plug is not going to come out to the surface. Um, let's say you don't have fiberglass that you can just lay in. What you can do is again drill those edges. You know, run that drill in a circular motion so that you get these cut out. Get your patch in there. Sand this down. Right, so you've got a little bit of a concave surface there. Lay in some fairing compound. Yeah, if you've got the material to make the patch, you should have the material to make some fairing compound. Um, once we finish with that, we'll get the fairing compound in. And after that, it's just a lot of sanding, some more fairing compound, until we get a smooth surface everywhere. And uh, then we'll go ahead and prime this boat. So hopefully within the next week or two, I'll get this to the point where we're going to have a couple of coats of primer on it and uh, ready for the finish coat. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate the correct uh, repair procedure on this one hole here. Um, it's got that plug in it. This drill bit's a little bit small. You can see that plug just pushes right in. Uh, the way to prevent that, as we saw earlier, is uh, first of all, this, I'm going to use a drill bit that's a little bit larger than that hole. The reason for that is I want I want fresh material to be in contact with the uh, filler I'm going to put in. I'm going to go in just a little bit, barely more than an inch, and then I'm going to double that hole and um, that'll give it a good mechanical connection if you will, um, both inside and outside. And that won't be the last of it, you'll see the rest of it and you saw in that little short uh, whiteboard that I did exactly uh, what I'll be doing next. Before I start with the uh, filler, um, you know, go ahead and wipe everything down with a little bit of acetone. Uh, acetone is your best friend when you're doing fiberglass work, whether you're using polyester or epoxy resins, it will clean up, um, get things prepped for your filler or your fiberglass, and clean up your tools, which is probably even more important than the, uh, well, they're both equally important. So let me go ahead and get that done. Okay, so the holes are clean. Um, here's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to make a lot of it, but I'm going to use total boat epoxy, one pump each. Gives you the perfect blend. 
and uh, milled glass, uh, which makes a great thickener. There'll be a lot of it because I want this stuff to be pretty thick. So let me uh, give you. this thing a pump. Good mix. That give this stuff a really good stir. And here comes the fun part. I had no glass. I'm going to add a lot of it. This stuff is amazing. What you'll find is not only does it thicken it, but it also hardens it. So as it cures, the epoxy just by itself seems to be uh, a little bit flexible when it cures. Um, when it's got milled glass in it, it actually gets really stiff. And um, then I'll go around the boat, patch all the other holes in, and uh, we'll go on to step three. Or whatever the next step might be. Let me show you something you might run into. If you've got a captive hole, meaning that there's no release behind it for air, you might, it might bubble up. And should it do that, what you want to do is get your corner in here. Use the corner of your blade to work it in there. And um, that will help make sure that that hole is filled and that there's no air bubble left in there. Of course, going across it from various directions helps as well. Next step is going to be to grind down um, just a little bit of a glass and uh, basically bevel this out so I can lay some fiberglass in here. I'll do these two, show you what I'm going to do uh, or how I'm doing it. I'm going to be using this flat and probably just try to get no more than an inch on there. So the idea is, is let's get a little indentation in there so we can lay some fiberglass over those patches. And um, I'll do these two holes just to show you how I'm going to do it. And then we'll go on and uh, of course I'll be doing all the rest of the holes that I've patched up. This, uh, this 60 grit flap wheel is really aggressive, so you want to go really, really lightly when you do this. Um, but I've got, i got to go a little bit more on this one. It's got a nice little indentation in there. I'm going to grind out a little bit more on this side, same here. Um, go ahead and lay a couple of layers of fiberglass on that. And um, then after that, we'll be ready for fairing compound. Before we do the fairing compound though, I am going to uh, basically go across the whole boat, fix any cracks, I'll show you how I do that. Um, get it sanded, um, I mean it needs a lot of sanding, and um, then we'll start with the fairing compound. So I'm getting ready to put fiberglass up on these, and uh, first thing I'm going to do is clean these with acetone. I'll do these two holes as an example so you'll see what I'm what I'm doing. Um, I've got little glass pieces cut out in small sizes to a bigger size to yet an even very fine sheet of a bigger size. And I'll lay these up um, with the epoxy resin that I'm using. That's pretty much what I'm using for the entirety of this boat is, is epoxy resin. But uh, I'll brush a little bit on there. and um, haven't experienced the wrath of fiberglass before. I'm going to use a pair of tweezers. Just put the first layer of glass on. Roll that in there. Let me say that, but let's, cover, let's make sure that hole's covered up. Let's 
saturate that glass really good. Get the tweezers, get the next bigger layer out. Here's those two holes I patched. I already sanded one down. You can see it's uh, got a little bit of a dimple there, but it looks pretty smooth. Here's the other one, and I'm just going to go ahead and sand this down, show you how it looks like once we get it sanded. And there you go. And a little bit of a a little bit more sanding, some farin compound, and that'll be indistinguishable. This one almost doesn't need farin compound, but I'll add some to smooth the surface out anyway. Well, here's what it looks like. Um, it's fairly smooth. Once we get the farin compound on it and uh, get it sanded down, get painted, uh, it'll pretty much be unnoticeable. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, if you have, hit like. Uh, subscribe and hit the bell button and make sure to share it. Thanks for watching.